Hey guys, good afternoon. Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss JD once again. And uh, the focus of our discussion now is about uh, the cryptocurrency because in the past few weeks, past few days, the um, cryptocurrency market is rallying significantly. So I think it's really worth our time looking into the potential of the crypto world. So expect that um, moving forward in some of the days, you will also see me reviewing um, altcoins and uh, digital assets in the crypto world. So if this is the type of video you'd like to also watch uh, in this channel, feel free to you know let me know. Click the thumbs up, subscribe, or even drop a comment, uh, or you can even request. Okay, but for now, I'd like to. Um, uh, share with you this uh, website. It's Coin Market Cap, and uh, in this website, it will show you all uh, the altcoins and the digital assets that uh, you can trade uh, using one eToro. I use that. Uh, I also use Binance. Okay, so these are the two trusted uh, websites or platform that I use when I trade digital assets and um, for now what I'm going to do is using TradingView, TradingView.com because I'm more comfortable uh, checking out the charts. It's pretty much almost the same uh, layout as Investigrams and uh, I use this when I uh, do my uh, analysis for cryptocurrency and uh, stocks in the US market so I can use uh, this platform in both so on here uh, as you can see bitcoin is still the number one based on market cap and uh, followed by ethereum binance xrp is now down to the fourth level there was a period when xrp was number two and then of course after after the um the case um uh, you know sec uh filed a, a case case against them so that kind of declined a little bit right it got derailed but uh, xrp is also a very promising stock uh, crypto right is a it's a very uh, promising uh, crypto asset <clears throat> let me just open something okay but let's just begin Okay, so uh, based on this, I'd like to cover the more popular uh, altcoins. And uh, of course, Bitcoin should be part of it. I'll uh, review each one. So let us try to understand where it is heading right now. Okay, so I think the overall, I was looking at um, these altcoins and these cryptocurrencies uh, based on today's market performance. But overall, um, one thing that you have to notice if you're just very new to the cryptocurrency world, normally all these altcoins are really influenced by uh, the movement of Bitcoin with the, some isolated cases, of course. But you will see later on in the succeeding coins that I will be reviewing, almost some sim similar uh, view. So my perspective towards uh, Bitcoin overall this is a a digital asset that's really worth holding for the long haul guys long haul okay but if you're just merely trading it uh, I see a possible <clears throat> pullback that might happen in the coming days for for Bitcoin and uh, you can follow this uh, trend line that I will be drawing okay so if it is going to pull back, most likely it is just going to follow this uh, uh, area over here. This will act as our ascending uh, support. And uh, chances are it could drop around the 5,500 area because you've got your resistance right here. So if it drops and it will respect, let us say it will respect this line. So that will be an area of support. Okay, so uh, at any time you encounter a pullback for Bitcoin, uh, I think that's already an opportunity but if you of course have a chance in case it drops up to this level but i am uh, 
I don't think any moment from now it will happen. This will just continue to move higher and higher, looking at um, how the people are looking for alternative ways in, or in their diversifying their investments. And we're starting to embrace the cryptocurrencies, right? And uh, we have more and more people engaging in this market. So chances are it, this will just continue to rise. And I'm addressing the long-term holders, okay? Long-term holders. That means if you're a long-term holder at any time, there's a, a fluctuation or a dip, that's an opportunity to buy. And at this point, I'm pegging it at around the um, this one. 5,500 area it might touch that level so even today it could drop and then probably push the price higher after that but if you want to put your buy order right at that level uh, try to do a test buy and enter at that area okay so that is for Bitcoin let's take a look at the second largest which is uh, Ethereum <clears throat> Ethereum also rallied significantly, all right? And uh, it is trying to create that uh, uh, rejection. We're, we're in the all-time high for Ethereum, by the way. So just in case, all right? It gives you uh, an opportunity to enter uh, at a much cheaper level. I'd say that would be around uh, 2,746. Okay, so maybe what you can do is place a buy order at that area and then wait for it to be executed. For now, uh, pretty much almost the same um, perspective towards uh, Bitcoin. Ethereum is another uh, currency that is very, very stable and um, one of, the, of course, one of the most leading digital assets. So try to um, haggle for a few percentage and then enter at that amount. So the... Um, Disregard the other lines because I've been following these uh, cryptocurrencies for the longest time now. Okay, so just be mindful of these two areas I pointed out. Currently, it's uh, giving us some signs of weakness and a pullback can happen. And uh, when I say pullback, it's just a temporary um, decline because overall, again, the uh, sentiment of the people is still on the bullish side for the crypto world. So it, maybe it'll just go back to uh, the most would be at this level. Your MA20 line, there you go. That is the, the lowest it could possibly uh, drop in the next few days or even within a day or two. The next one is our Binance. Binance is also gaining popularity because, of course, uh, its platform is uh, widely uh, uh, supported by, by consumers or retailers and investors too. Let's take a look at this. Um, this one is also creating a, a bearish signal. While it is moving higher and higher, the uh, momentum is starting to decline. So just be extra <clears throat> careful. Profit taking is about to happen. However, again, um, the overall sentiment here is still on the bullish side. So if it is going to drop, the lowest it could drop would be around $490. And um, it could also test this MA20 line. So two areas, guys, two areas where you can watch it, um, observe and uh, see if it is going to indeed bounce at that area. So you can either put the order in advance or put some um, set some alarms. Uh, regardless of the tool, doesn't matter. You can use your. Uh, I have not played around with the uh, uh, alarm or notification feature of Binance, uh, but definitely here in Trading View, you can also set that up. So two key areas to watch out for: 547. If that gets broken, then it could go back to the 490 area. The next is XRP. XRP, same. Uh, looks like this is creating already a lower high. So this is the resistance. So when it peaked right there, it declined. And when it moved higher again, it's somewhat creating that lower uh, 
level. So the resistance now is lower than the previous one. So chances are when it declines, it could probably go back to, well, let's see if it is going to stabilize at 135 or it could go back to this level. So these are the key areas, okay? Key areas I'm looking at, 135 and 1.02. So similar to this, what we wanted to see is while well, the, the price is moving higher and higher, the volume should be going up, not going down. Unlike here, it's going down while the price is moving higher. So that's why um, that's the reason why I think this is now uh, starting to take profit. But when it declines, I'm not saying it's going to go slide all the way down back to the 0.60 area, no, because um, Chances are it's just temporary and we could be bouncing back soon. So watch out. Maybe you can enter at the 135 or 1.02 in case it drops. The next one is Dogecoin. So in my previous video, I said I entered in Doge. And... Uh, this one. Okay. So I think it could give us a chance back at the 0.28 area. Okay, so uh, if you would like, uh, don't rush. Same with uh, the previous uh, currencies that I, I reviewed. Don't rush. Wait for the pullback because these coins are, are currently on a pullback, giving everyone a chance to enter once again. Okay, don't chase it, guys. You can still get them at a lower level. But uh, for me, I personally have a Doge and I exited uh, at the 0.36 last night and I even reached as high as 0.39. I was not able to uh, ride at the, the, that part, but I think it is going to uh, give me a chance again to enter at a lower level. So I'm waiting for it. The buying power is ready. Let's take a look at uh, Cardano. Ada. Okay, this one as well is giving us some uh, uh, signs of weakness. The increase in the price or the uh, the bounce has given us has given us a lower high. This used to be the peak right here, and then when it bounced, it, it struggled a little bit right at this level. So this now is the resistance area. So something to be mindful of is. We have to sustain the MA20 line around uh, the area where it is at right now. This 1.30, 1.31. It has to uh, respect that. Otherwise, it will go down again and, uh, uh, you know, create some uh, support probably at the 115 area. Okay. The reason why I'm saying that is because when I go to the left, uh, this is how I determine the support and resistance, right? But support, when it drops, it creates uh, a, a bounce at an area for several days. So this one, for me, is a support because several days we were hitting that area and then we're giving a, uh, the market is giving us a bounce. Uh, however, let's say it continues to break that because it could just go within this range and then uh, break again. And that's a much better picture. But if the sentiment, or even today, if it breaks this, then chances are it will go back now. And I screen to the left. This is the area where you had the previous consolidation. So chances are we could be building a support at that area. But just draw this line. This will be your guide. And uh, see if it, this level will be respected indeed as our possible support. Next is dot dot. USDT, USD. Let's use that. Okay, this too. There's a sign of rejection at the MA20 line. That is a, a resistance guide. So if you're already profitable, maybe you have entered at the 0.29 level. Consider taking profit, everyone. That's a resistance happening uh, at the 37 level. So it might go back to uh, the previous support, which is around... Uh, this key area 29.8 okay so I think these are the top coins 
in the coin market cap that you would like to look into feel free to drop a comment uh, if you have some requests I can go ahead and check that for you by the way I am a uh, position trader most most of the time in cryptocurrency I can hold on to my positions up to several weeks but if I I reach my gain at 20 30 percent uh, most of the time I'm happy with that and I also exit so my um, holding period for for cryptocurrency is much faster than the, my holding period in stocks because this is very very volatile and I, I can achieve my one day worth of performance in crypto is several weeks or even months in in the stocks but it's a double-edged sword it could be a, I could experience a drawdown really really huge or I can uh, expect a, a potential gain for a large amount in just a short period of time so but just weigh, weigh uh, what kind of profile you have and what level of risk you're willing to take and uh, take action accordingly. In the meantime, you have just heard my view on it. Do your assignment as well because my recommendations can work for myself and uh, might not work for you. Okay, so at least you just understand the thought process uh, as to why I'm saying these in my chart. Okay. For now, thank you for watching and uh, see you again next time. Bye-bye for now.